I'm not going to say I hadn't cried over it, but I'm not going to let it control me. Coaching college football, what a tricky and fascinating thing that is. The highs, they're really high. The lows, well, you know how that goes. If you don't win a championship, it's kind of miserable around here. But the most beautiful thing about college coaching is when there are personal lows, the support is unwavering. A lot of people are praying, which is wonderful. Praying for the right course of action and praying for a cure. Your Parkinson's diagnosis, this happened a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. When was it that you decided that you wanted to seek a doctor's help and kind of figure out what was going on? I had hip surgery. Once I knew I was rehabbed well from my hip surgery and I still was having some issues. Slight little tremor maybe on my left, left hand once in a while. Maybe a little harder to bring the fork to my mouth, you know. I, I knew something was up. So when the doctor first tells you that you have Parkinson's, what immediately goes through your head? He pretty much told me what I already knew. When I coached, I didn't sleep enough. I didn't work out enough. I didn't eat very well. And there was a little bit of pressure that went along with the job. And those are like the four biggest factors for that type of d disease rearing its ugly head. So I look at it as a momentary light affliction. It's momentary, it's not forever. Being in heaven's forever. What's the next step for you with this disease? How do you move forward and live with that with your busy schedule? Well, I, th I think just keep living life, you know, enjoy every day you got, be thankful for every good day you get. And still be Poopa. I'm Poopa, P-O-O-H-P-A, like Winnie the Pooh, Poopa, that's my grandfather name. Hello, my lovely, I'm Poopa. Parkinson's is not a, it's not a death sentence, it's not. It's, people live with it for years and years, and some people keep it in stage one for 20 years. So I gotta protect the dopamine I got left in my body the best I can, and, and if I keep moving as good or maybe a little bit better in the future, I'll be happy. What a tremendous story. I can tell you firsthand that he and his wife, Catherine, are sensational people, strong rooted in their faith and determined to help others dealing with chronic illness. Rick will continue his duties as an analyst with the ACC Network while also launching a book next month and still traveling the country doing speaking engagements.